Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create some peekaboo Halloween wine glasses using Oracle 651 for decals. This was such a fun and easy project, I will definitely be making some when Christmas time comes around. All you need is a few simple supplies, including glitter, Mod Podge, wine glasses, and Oracle 651. Enjoy the tutorial and happy crafting everyone! Alright, so to create these really awesome Halloween peekaboo cups, you need to start with some designs and some decals. So I purchased these decals off of designbundles.net. I will leave the link below in case you're interested in these, but there's just a few that I want to work with. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to get rid of the ones that I'm not going to use. So I plan on using this one, Let's Get Wicked, and I put a spell on you. So with it selected, I'm going to go up to here to ungroup because when you get it, they're all grouped together. So I'm just going to ungroup it all and then I can go in and delete the ones that I don't want. So I'm just going to take these ones. These ones are not the ones that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to delete these ones. And I'm this one too. And then this one I bought previously as well. So I'm going to use these three. And then these two I found on Google and I just cleaned it up in design space. These are going to be my little decals for inside of my cup for the peekaboo part. And you can use whatever you want. But I'm just going to shrink these down smaller size that I can put them on the outside of my cup. But it will look like it's on the inside. So I'm going to deal with these in just a minute. So with these decals, I'm just going to leave them black. So the only thing I want to do to this is change the size. So I go up here, it's already unlocked, and I know that my particular size is going to be about 3x3. Three three. So I'm just going to change it to 3x3 three three quick, and then I'm going to do the same with these ones. I'm going to unlock it and do 3x3. Three three. Then this last one too. This one is not attached, so I'm just going to select all of it and then do the same thing. Unlock it and change it to a 3x3. Three three. And it all depends on how big you want your decals. This is just how I want mine. I didn't think that one looked right, so I'm going to change this one to a 3 again. Sometimes design space doesn't always work with you and you always have to double check and make sure that your sizes are correct. So I'm just going to select both of these again and it is. So the last thing I want to do with this is make sure they are all attached together so that it will cut out because the way that this is, is it's just going to cut out the cat separately and then let's and then get wicked separately. So I want it all to cut out as one piece. So I'm going to select it and push the attach button down here. I'm going to make sure that this one is too. You can see it on the side here that this is how it's going to cut. So it's going to cut it out all individually. So again, I'm just going to go to attach here and then the same with this. This one, I'm just going to do the same and attach. And then with these little guys, these are going to be for the inside of the peekaboo part. So I like to do anywhere between six and eight little guys on the outside that look like they're on the inside. So I'm going to select both of those and I'm just going to hit duplicate uh, six more times. Actually, one more, because then that's going to give me seven. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I counted wrong. So I have eight, so that's perfect. Like I said between six and eight, I like to do. So I'm going to leave everything the color it is, so I don't have to do anything else. I'm just going to go to make it, and then it's going to show me how I'm cutting these out. And for whatever reason, this one is giving me a little bit of a darker color, gray. So I don't know if you guys knew this, know this. Here's a little tip. So if you want to move this to this um, mat, you click on your image, these three little dots up here, and it says move object or hide object. I want to move it. So it's going to ask me where I want to move it, and I want to move it with all this other stuff since it's all going to be black. So I click on that and push confirm, and then here it is. So you just have to move that out of the way. So I'm going to cut all this out as it is. I will weed this out and then I'll show you the next step of doing your mug. So with this, I'm going to be using Oracle 651 because I want a permanent vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I'll weed it out and then I'll show you the next step. All right, guys. So for the next part, you are going to need some wine glasses, some glitter of your choice. I have orange, purple, and black. You're going to need some foam brushes a dry erase marker, a plate or something you can put some Mod Podge on, 
some Mod Podge. I bought this huge thing off of Amazon. And then your uh, decals that you had cut out. Oh, and then also some electrical tape. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you clean your glass really well. I just used some rubbing alcohol and some paper towel and I cleaned it really well and made sure it was dry. And then I took the sticker off the bottom as well. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out how far you want your glitter to go up from your cup. So to do that, I'm actually, I like the size of my glitter. So I'm going to take my cup, I'm going to flip it upside down, I'm going to put my glitter here, and then I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to lay it flat on here, and then I'm just going to turn my wine glass. And then this will give me a straight edge that I can take my tape and put it around. So I have some electrical tape, I'm just going to take some off, I'm going to cut a little piece off, and then comes the next part. So you want to figure out if you want to put your tape above or below your line. I like to put it just above it, keeping my line straight, but I don't want to go over the line itself. So I'm going as close as possible to the line and I'm pulling the tape really tight so that there gets, there's no air bubbles or anything underneath it. And the reason I'm going just below it is because I want to be able to wash it off before I put the glitter on it. So I'm going as close as possible to it and just pulling it tightly. And if you make a mistake, that's okay. You just pull it up and you start again. So there's really no wrong way to do this. I've seen people use water in glasses, but I think this way is just a little bit easier that you can actually see what you're doing. And then once I get to the end, I make sure the end pieces match up really well. And then I kind of just pull this little piece over so that I can grab it up easily when I'm doing, when I'm finished with it. So now that I'm done with the marker part, I'm just gonna wash it away with my paper towel that is wet with the rubbing alcohol. And it's okay if it's still there, if you still see a little bit, you can always take it off later, but it's so much easier just to do it now. So once your cup is dry, this is the time if you want to make the peekaboo glasses, this is the time that you're going to want to use your decals. So I'm actually going to use these cute little ghosts. So I don't need any transfer tape or anything right now. It's so tiny, I'm just going to pick it up. So you just want to take them and put them wherever you want to put, wherever you want to see them. And you will not see these from the outside, hence the peekaboo. So you put it wherever you want it. And then when you are finished with putting your glitter on, you will see it from the inside like this, but you will not see it from the outside. It's kind of the fun part of it. You can do this or you can just leave it alone and put your decals just on the outside, on the top when you're finished with your glitter. But I think this is so cute, just putting them on the inside so that you could see them that way. So I'm just randomly putting them wherever, there's no right or wrong, it's just wherever you wanna put them. And I have one little guy left, so let's see. We'll put him right here. So that's the fun part. Wherever you wanna put them, you just wanna make sure they're down really well. And then you wanna take your Mod Podge, which I already have on a plate, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what we're trying to do. So this one has the purple glitter on it already. So this is exactly what we're trying to do. Just put some Mod Podge on it and then you put your glitter on it. So this one is drying and then I'll show you this next one. So this next part is up to you. You can glitter this whole thing if you want or what I like to do is just tape it off here. So I'm just gonna take another piece of electrical tape right here, just a little tiny piece and you can figure out how far you wanna go down on here. I'm just gonna go just where it starts to begin to go up as a cup. And then it's just the same process, just going around. There's no right or wrong with this. You just wanna match your ends up when you get to it. So there. And then again, I have this little piece and I'm just gonna Put it there so I can pick it up easily. So once it's all dry and your decals are on, you're gonna wanna take your Mod Podge, which I already have some here. Let's get this out of the way. And then you just take your Mod Podge and you just go on it. I like to start at the top, making sure that I get all that spot up by the tape. And then once you get that, you wanna work it on the bottom then as well. Just like this. And then when I'm all finished with that, I just like to take it and go one way with the brush strokes. And I'm making sure that I don't have like a pile of 
or a pool of it in one spot. I'm trying to get everywhere and I'm trying to make sure that I have it everywhere because I don't know if it shows up on camera, I don't have it there. So you wanna make sure that you get everywhere with your Mod Podge because your Mod Podge is your glue for your glitter. So I'm making sure that I get everywhere. And if you don't, that's okay. You're gonna do a few coats on this and then my little guy is coming up here. So I'm just gonna make sure he stays. And I'm just looking to make sure that there's no globs of it anywhere and that it's filled in everywhere. So the next thing I wanna do, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this paper. This paper comes in really handy when you're doing glitter. You wanna figure out what color you want. So I think I'm going to be using this purple again. I like this purple, how it covers really well. So then you're not gonna waste this if you have a paper underneath. Then you're just gonna to wanna to take it and dump it all over, turning your glass as you go. You wanna fill in everywhere with the glitter. And there's gonna be spots on here where you can see through it and spots where you don't have it, but that's okay. That's why you're gonna do two or three coats. So when I'm done with it, I just like to tap it a little bit, get the extra glitter off. And then I even just take a unused foam brush and I just go around it and try to get the extra, all that extra glitter off. I like to save everything when I can. So there, so it was that simple. So now here's where your paper comes in handy is you just fold it up and then you can put your glitter right back in. So you're not wasting anything. There, so you can save the paper. Okay, so these two are drying. So I did this one previously and you can see that there's still more that I have to put on. You can see through it and everything. This is the one with the peekaboo in it. I'm not sure if you can see the bats in there, but they're in there. And then this is another one that I did, and I just did the glitter. I didn't put anything inside. So there's another trick to this if you want to do it. So I've done these previously. So this is one that I've done already with the decal on it. This is all dry. This glitter will not come off. But I did a little surprise on the inside. So not I'm trying to do it so you guys can see it. Not only did I put the peekaboo inside with the witch hats, but it's orange. So the outside is purple, and the inside is orange. So I can show you how to do that one with the one that I did not do the decal with. That was kind of fun to do. Um, but you, as you can see, this is completely dry to the touch. It has like a matte to it, a matte finish to it. And then here's the decal that I cut out before. So you can use it whatever kind of decals you want. Um, you can put them in the inside like this to have the peekaboo. I hope that's coming up. And you don't have to either way. So that is just one that I finished before. Here is another one that I did, more booze please. And this has little white ghosts on the inside. So um, you wanna make sure that you let these dry to the touch. So I'm not even gonna touch it yet because I know this one is still wet, but you wanna let your Mod Podge dry to the touch. But, 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 I made the mistake, so please don't do what I did, of leaving my tape on while it was drying. That is a no-no. So if you do that, all of your glitter up here, if you leave your tape on, it's gonna get stuck and then it's gonna get like, very thick and you don't want that. So before you let it dry, you wanna take off your tape. And just do it very carefully. And then you're left with this really awesome straight edge here. And if you have Mod Podge here, that's okay. Let it dry. And then once you're finished with your whole project, you can go around with paper towel and alcohol and rub that all off or any glitter that you might have left. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom here. I'm just gonna pull this tape off. So again, do not forget to do this. I did forget to do it on one of them and it sure did botch it up. It was, it did not look good at all. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I always put a little tail on it so it's easier for me to grab it off, but it's the same thing, just pull this off. This one was a little bit drier, so I, I'm pulling some extra glitter off, but again, that was my mistake, please don't do that. So again, just like that. So you're left with this really nice edge down here and at the top, and here, like I said, there's Mod Podge here, but afterwards I'll clean it up. You won't even see that afterwards. So I'm gonna let these two dry, and then I will show you the next step when they are finished drying. It's pretty much the same process. You're just gonna be very careful and go around the edges with your Mod Podge, and then go do another layer. So I'll let these dry, and then I'll come right back and show you what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm back. I let this dry for about 15 minutes 
just as long as it's dry to the touch and you don't get any of that Mod Podge up, you should be okay. So the next part is the same process, but this time it's gonna be a little bit more, you have to be a little bit more careful because you are putting the Mod Podge on where your uh, tape was. So you just wanna take it and then gently, again, I like starting at the top, just gently going over it. And you want to go wherever you want to put it wherever your glitter is going to go. So I'm just taking my time and doing the top part. And you might take up a little bit of glitter with this when you're doing this, which is okay. But this is why it's very important to have it dry before you go. Otherwise, you will pull up all your glitter. So just take your time carefully, go around the edges, try to go up as high as you can where your last uh, bunch was. Then when I'm done with the top, I like to do the same thing, just flip it over and work on the bottom part. Same process, just taking it and putting your Mod Podge around. These are so much fun to make. You can make these for anything that you want. Like when Christmas comes up, I'll be doing these for Christmas. You know, if you have a birthday coming up for somebody, you could do this for a birthday present and do like happy birthday on the inside or little balloons or something anniversary you know whatever you want I, I think this is really neat you know fun way to do it you know you can get your kids into doing this my kids just don't want to do this they just like the outcome of it <laughs> but you can have your kids do it with you so again just the same thing I'm just pulling down making sure I get the Mod Podge all around and the same thing you don't want a big glob like this you don't want a huge glob like that on there so if you do it's just gonna show up when you put the um, next layer on. So then when you're completely finished with it and you have it everywhere, again, I like to go back with it and just make sure I have a nice straight even line and not gobs of it in one spot. And you know what, this one ghost here is just giving me problems. So I'm just gonna take him off. I've never had an issue like that before, but he just does not wanna stick there. So I'm just gonna take him off completely. Like, and then I'll just put extra Mod Podge there to go over it with the glitter. I've never had that problem before. He just didn't want to stick on there. So again, just go around making sure that you don't have a bunch of it in one spot. And then you just do the same thing. And this one, I'm going to do this the other way. So instead of doing it purple again, I'm going to do it black on the outside. So I'm just going to open my black. And I forgot to mention, this is extra fine glitter. And I did buy this at Walmart. So I'm going to take black this time and go over it. So I will have the purple on the inside and then the black on the outside. Don't have to do that. It's just kind of fun seeing that part on the inside. So I'm just going around and tapping it. And it depends on how thick your glitter is going on right now and how thick you want it. But you might have to do two or three coats. So this is the second coat. I might have to do one more, but we'll see when it when it dries to see if I'm missing any spots. I kind of like it when it has just a little bit of the purple showing through. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but there's just a little bit of purple at the bottom and then a little bit at the top. And I kind of like how that looks. So while it's drying, I'm just gonna take another foam brush that's dry and not used and just carefully go around the edges without touching anything to get that extra glitter off. And then I'll just do the same on the bottom. There. So, so far, I think this looks really good. I might not even do another coat on this one but I'll see what it looks like when it completely dries. So there's the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that the little ghosts are in there. And then this one, I'm gonna do the same. I think I'm gonna, I think I actually might do the same. This one, I'll do uh, the black again. So it'll be purple on the inside and black on the outside. But that's your choice if you wanna do that. I think it just kind of makes it a little bit funner. It's not really a word, is it funner? I think it just makes it look better. There we go. So I'm gonna take my, paper and put my black back in my container and then I'm just going to do the same process. I'm gonna... All right so my mug my cups had dried and uh, the last two things that you want to do for this is 
If you want to put some decals on, now is the time to do it. So I made this one more booze, please. And then also put, got this one, I put a spell on you. So what you're gonna wanna do is just take some transfer tape and put it over your design and use your scraper and just scrape it onto your transfer tape really well. And then I like to flip it over and kind of work backwards to make sure nothing peels off. And then a tip. So when I'm doing anything rounded, I take my scissors and I go in and I just make little slits so that it will be easier to go around a round surface. It's optional, you don't have to do this, but it just definitely helps me out, especially when I'm doing the wine glasses or when I'm doing my coffee mugs. It just makes it so much easier. So the next part is figuring out where you want to put it on here. You want to clean this glass before you do it again, which I already did. And then you're just going to want to take your file and line it up so everything will fit on it perfectly. So I'm going from the shoes first and making sure that they're going all the way down at the bottom. I don't want this to go on yet. All the way down at the bottom here. Making sure that that's straight. And then I'm just going to push outwards. And this is where those slits really come in handy. And you just wanna push really hard. And then I'll flip it kinda and just work the other way. There. Those little slits really come in handy. And then if you have something that's not going on right, you can just lift it up. I'm gonna tear that little piece off. Lift it up just a little bit. Make sure it goes on nice there. Once you get on, just push it really hard. Make sure everything sticks on really smoothly. And then you carefully want to just peel back your transfer tape. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. So if you have any bubbling or anything that's coming up on here, you can just use your fingers and try to push it down. Otherwise, I found it a really another a really useful trick too is when I use vinyl and it doesn't stick to something that well, I usually use a hair dryer on low and then I'll just push it, let the heat get to it and I'll push it down if it has any bubbles or any peelings up on it. So that's one way, otherwise you can take a really, really small pin and poke it and then kind of get the bubble out, but I love doing the hair dryer. I think it works so much better. So this one is finished, I put a spell on you and then I have this other one, more booze please, and I'm gonna do it the same way. So we're not finished yet, we have one more thing to do. So now to seal this part, like I said before, you gotta do one more layer of the Mod Podge. This one is finished, you can see it's a little bit more of a matte finish rather than having it bright and shiny. Um, so you're gonna wanna do the same process. You wanna take a clean foam brush, one that you haven't used before, and then just do the same thing. So you're gonna just take it and go as close as you can to the edge and then this will seal all of your glitter in. So it's just like that. And then make sure you go all the way down and then make sure you let it dry. So this will dry completely. You're not adding any more glitter or anything to it. This will just seal all the glitter so it won't come off when you touch it or when you hold it and you're trying to drink. And then I just like to go around after I'm finished with the whole thing and just do one more wash with some alcohol. And then that's it. So I will finish this up and then I will show you what they all look like when it's all done. I love how these turned out. They were so simple and easy to create and you can use this technique with any kind of wine glasses. I will be creating some of these peekaboo wine glasses for Christmas time. So be sure to subscribe and watch out for that video. Thanks for watching and please make sure to give me a thumbs up for this video and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Happy crafting everyone!